Hello and welcome to another video from Divine by Design. I'm in a slightly different location today and I'm bringing you this video from my salon, Divine by Design in Chester. I've had a lot of inquiries about a set of nails that were affectionately named as Starlight Express. So I'm going to show you today how to achieve that look and indeed achieve the look with freehand stars that is very simple and easy to follow. For this tutorial today, you're going to require CND shellac base coat, and top coat, overtly onyx, silver chrome and satin pyjamas. I also have a range of art brushes including a very fine detail art brush which is a nail perfect 4-0, one from online that I have cut down extra fine and a CND Pro Series gel size 6 brush that I use just for my glitters so the end goes very fluffy which is perfect for picking up small amounts of glitter. You're also going to require a extra fine holographic silver glitter and some plastic back pads or a tile or ceramic placemat. I've brought in my nail trainer today to help me demonstrate this. Obviously you would be doing this on a client normally. So if you are doing this on a client, you need to carry out PEP first. And PEP stands for P, perform a manicure, E, eliminate surface contaminants, and P, purify nail plate layers. Now we're going to pretend that I've done that, so now we're going straight onto the base coat layer. We're going to go and apply our base coat now, so remember to shake the bottle well before use. And as always with shellac, the key expression is thin to win. So apply a nice thin layer to the natural nail. We're going to carry this out on all five fingers. Once you've applied your base coat thinly to all five fingers and thumb, remember to put it into your CND UV lamp and cure for 10 seconds. Once you've cured your base coat in the lamp for 10 seconds, it's time to apply the colour coat. We're going to be using silver chrome and satin pyjamas. So on the first finger, we're going to apply silver chrome and then satin pyjamas on the remainder. Remember that it's normal for your first layer of colour to appear slightly streaky. And remember with each coat to cap the end of the nail. Once you've completed all 10 fingers and thumbs, place into your CND UV lamp and cure for 2 minutes. Once you've cured in your lamp, apply your second coat and cure in the lamp again for 2 minutes. Once you've cured it in the lamp for 2 minutes on the second coat, it's time for the fun to start. We're going to start first with the Glitter Index Finger, just in case you're wondering where any of these products are purchased from. If you are in the UK, the authorised distributor of CND is sweetsquared.com. If you're outside of the UK, you will have authorised distributors in your area. And here we have our glitter. Now this one is an irresistible glitter that's available through Sweet Squared in the UK. Outside of the UK, I'll put a link for some holographic glitters for you. Get your size 6 gel brush. Dab it into your glitter, separate the finger away from the other fingers and just brush into the surface. You can pat first and then give it a firm brush down. I often get asked how I make my rock stars so neat around the epinecumen side walls and all it is once you've applied your glitter, take an orange wood stick and just run it around that small free margin left to make sure that there's no glitter touching the skin. To make sure that you have a really neat finish, take your brush and pat along the end of the nail to make sure that there's no glitter sticking out. Now you have a choice here, we're going to need to apply a clear shellac over the top of this. So you can top coat but do remember that will increase your removal time. What I prefer to do is I use either clearly pink, gold VIP, silver VIP, mother of pearl. I'm going to use clearly pink at the moment and we're just going to apply a coat over the top of this. just to seal your glitter in, ready to get a nice neat effect on your stars. And again, cap the end. Now we're going to go on to the ring finger where we're going to do our silver stars. In order to do the silver glitter stars, we are going to need to take a plastic back pad or similar, soaked with 99% isopropyl alcohol or dissolve, and wipe gently over the nail to remove the sticky top film. It will be normal to have some colour on the pad. Once you've removed your sticky top film, take the back of a plastic back pad or your tile, give your shellac a shake and apply a small amount to your tile. Now we're going to need a 
fine detail art brush. My current favourite at the moment is a Nail Perfect Micro Styler. I'll put a link in the description as to where you can purchase these. And apply the brush into the shellac. You want to have a nice a rounded amount on the end of the brush because this is going to help us create the star. So a little bulb of shellac. Make sure the bulb is on the end of the brush. The nail. And take a centre spot, which is here, and use that to create your five points. Here we have a standard star. If you want to make it a little bit more funky, bring out the length of a couple of the points and put the star slightly out of balance. Now apply two smaller stars. Don't worry if they're not too neat because we will be finishing off with the outlining. I'm going to pull out the points on this one a little bit and just sharpen this image up. Now we've done that, we're going to pop the hand into the lamp and cure for two minutes. Once you've cured in the lamp for two minutes, pop the hand back out. And we're going to go straight to the ring finger with the stars on. Bring in your glitter and your glitter brush and stroke some glitter on. Now because we've removed the sticky top film off the satin pyjamas underneath, the glitter should only stick to the stars, which we can see is happening here. This enables you to brush it off everywhere else to make sure that it's a neat finish. We bring the zoom in a bit for you. If you want to tidy this up, if there's any glitter flakes just stopping it being a really sharp image, quite simply get an orange wood stick and tidy it up. Now the reality is I can only see some of this detailing on the video because it zooms in so close with the naked eye you can't see it quite so much. Now we are going to apply the stars to the index finger. So get your satin pyjamas and apply some to your tile. Once you've applied your satin pyjamas to your tile, get your fine detail art brush. And again, two other smaller stars. And one more up the side of the nail. Now cure that in the lamp for two minutes. Now we are ready to outline the stars. Get your overtly onyx and decant a small amount onto your tile or plastic butt pad. Now we're going to need an ultra fine detail brush. My favorite one is one I've actually trimmed down myself. This is just from a very cheap set, which I will put a link to, but just to give you a comparison, here is an orange wood stick and here is the point of the brush. Okay, now get a very small amount. You're best pulling it out onto your pad or onto your tile and we're going to outline. And we're going to do this to all the stars on the finger. Once you've completed the outlining, we're going to do the same to the index finger. Once you've completed your outline with your overt ionics and your fine brush, pop that into the lamp and cure for two minutes. Once you've cured in the lamp, I would recommend applying a coat of clearly pink to the index finger and the ring finger just to level out any raised parts where you've got the stars. It gives a better finish when you actually apply your top coat. So we're just going to do that now, and then we're going to cure for two minutes again. Our final stage now is our top coat, and we're going to apply this to all the fingers and cure for two minutes. Once you've cured your top coat in the lamp for two minutes, take a pad soaked with isopropyl alcohol, 99% or disperse, and wipe over the nails to remove the sticky top film. And here we have the finished nails. And as you can see, they are beautiful and sparkly and perfect. 
The outlining really makes them pop. So thank you for watching today. If you want to see any more video tutorials, they're available on my YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe. If you want to look at my website, it's www.divinebydesignbeauty.com, as seen here. I'm also available on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash Divine by Design CND Nails. On Twitter, I'm Divine by Design One. On Pinterest, I'm XDBDX. And on Instagram, I'm Divine by Design Beauty. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you learn a lot from it. Bye bye.